the uh, Flores Agreement is really one of the few legal protections that children have in, in the detention system. Uh, just as recently as last week, uh, advocates went to the Ninth Circuit to uh, get the government to abide by the, the agreement that it's already supposed to be following and provide children with uh, basic necessities, soap, toothbrushes, and rather than agreeing to do this, the government is now going and essentially trying to undermine this agreement rather than upholding their responsibilities to uh, the children that are in their custody. I think there definitely will be a legal challenge. I think that's something that uh, a lot of advocates are, are looking at right now. And uh, these proposed regulations are, uh, are clearly unlawful and uh, should clearly be struck down. Um, and what is the most troubling about this news is that the same department and the same facilities that have allowed six children to die under their watch are now claiming that they can provide oversight internally on their own facilities. That is just, it's outrageous and um, this is real, real, real harm that's being caused to children in our, in our country that we have a responsibility to protect and stand up for. And if you're fleeing from your, for your life, um, nothing is going to deter you. And these sorts of tactics to scare and threaten and bully immigrant families um, is not only unjust, it's not who we are as a country. It's Uh, we don't have trust in the oversight and in the basic standards that DHS has in place. Again, this is the same administration that has said it's not a standard to provide children with toothbrushes and basic needs. So the standards are below par, and if you're producing publicly available records of the standards where the standards are way under what basic human rights are, that doesn't do anyone justice. So 